Hey, this is Martin from Abacus Whiskers and this video is going to take a look at our week view. Um, our week view is available in horizontal and vertical mode. So here the lessons are going down vertically and then we've also got our uh, horizontal version where they're going across horizontally. But other than that, they're basically the same uh, idea. These dates along here are populated depending what is uh, typed in um, up here. So um, if we change that to the 30th, that will then change the dates along there automatically, which is quite handy. Um, you might want to create one of these each week. So you can right click and then you can uh, copy, so move or copy and then create a copy and you can choose where to put it. Um, what I would probably do if it was me is never really delete them, just keep adding, you know, creating copies for the new weeks, but then uh, hide them as I go. So you can uh, right click on what you want to hide and say hide. And if you want it back again, right click anywhere along the, the, the those tabs along the bottom and say unhide and choose what you want to unhide. Okay. Um, one thing you might want to do, uh, depending on um, your timetable, uh, is a lot of you won't have Saturday and Sunday lessons and you might want to get rid of those. So you can either delete them uh, or hide them. Um, it's entirely up to you. If you want to delete them, click in the column heading at the top for the furthest left one that you want to delete, hold down shift and then click in the column heading uh, for the furthest right of the, the cells that you want to delete and the column you want to delete. Then you can right click and click delete and it shifts them all over and keeps it looking neat and tidy. Okay. You also might have um, more or fewer lessons. Um, if you are uh, wanting to reduce the number of lessons that you've got, I would consider hiding them in case it changes in the future. Um, so let's say you want to finish after lesson six. In the row heading, I'm going to select 38. I'm going to go down to, um, let's go down to 46. And it's going to hide those and hopefully shift it all up. I can then right click and then say hide. And it shifted it all up and kept the formatting nice and neat. So to unhide them, if you see the line um, between 37 and 47, the ones that are hidden, the cursor changes and it shows you there's uh, a line with an arrow pointed up and a line with an arrow pointing down. Double click on those and it starts unhiding each of them uh, in turn. You can obviously alternatively delete them and I, again I would delete them in a way that keeps the, the formatting. So delete the whole um, row. So click on 34 to 46, that's going to shift it all up, keep it looking neat right click and delete okay nice and tidy then